funny? Yes. Did you just hear that? Yeah. Jesus Christ, what is that? Did you just hear that? Female? Yes. You heard that one? Yeah. That echo. I remember I was the last one out and I closed that door. Guys, Malvern Manor was one of the first structures ever built in this small town in Iowa. It was built in 1869, and by 1870, it was fully completed. Now, by the 1890s, it had become the Cottage Hotel, and its success was credited to a Captain Jacob Cullors. Now, this wasn't just your average hotel. People would come here to stay if they were looking for somewhere to stay overnight, but also doctors from out of town would take the train in and set up small clinics in the hotel to serve area patients who needed medical care. Not only that, but it was actually a very, very well-known spot for psychic readings, even all the way back in the late 1800s. Now, it would function as this hotel all the way up until the 1950s, when it would close down, and by 1956, it was turned into a nursing home. In the 1970s, unfortunately, the nursing home had closed due to some code violations, and a former staff member actually purchased the property. Her name was Geraldine, and she made it a home for the mentally disabled, basically. They would treat people with schizophrenia, people struggling with alcoholism, and they even have some murderers here. Yeah. Now, Geraldine would run it as long as she could. She absolutely loved this place. She loved it so much. She actually lived in a trailer right on the property in the back here. But by the 1990s, the state of Iowa forced her to retire as she was getting up there in age. Another gentleman did take it over, but this place was not cared for in the same manner. And by 2005, the building was actually forced to close due to reports of abuse and neglect going on in the facility. Now, there's a number of spirits that are said to reside here in Malvern Manor. The first one being a guy named Hank. He's your stereotypical grumpy old guy. Um, actually, during his life, he was said to stand on the porch and throw rocks at passing kids. But he seems to hate interaction with women, kids. He hates people going into his room and touching his stuff. Um, it seems like he just wants to be left alone, honestly. One of the most prominent spirits in the entire building is that of a patient named Gracie. Now, when Josh first purchased the building, he would be coming in here all the time and doing his paranormal investigations, and he kept getting the EVP of the name Gracie. So he has some former staff come in and walk him around, kind of show him what a day-to-day -day life would be like. And sure enough, they confirmed that the room he was catching the EVPs in actually belonged to a patient named Gracie. Now, she suffered from multiple personality disorder. They said one night they went in and sat with Gracie and actually documented 13 different personalities within an hour. One of her most prominent other personalities was that of a gentleman. She would actually have this deep, gravelly male voice that the nurses would hear from the hallway, and they would actually think a male patient had snuck into her room. They would go in and check, and it would just be Gracie there. Now, what's a little bit scary about that is the thing that she would say most often in this voice was that the devil himself was coming to get her. Now, Gracie is said to be very, very fond of men. Anybody who sits on her wheelchair or on her bed gets touched in the legs and in the hip and sometimes in some other spots. So I think that's going to be an interesting spot tonight to go investigate, uh, hang out with Gracie for a while. Yeah. Um, another spirit that's here is, um, her name is Susie. She was a middle-aged woman, but she had the mind of like an eight-year-old. She was mentally disabled, and she's said to just like company. She has a bunch of coloring books, a bunch of toys in there, and it's said that she can't leave her room for some reason. She always says that someone's scaring her. She's scared to go outside into the hallway. There's a male presence who keeps her in her room. So maybe we should go into her room and try to talk to her as well. Yeah, now, one of the sadder stories that I think that comes out of this building is that of a patient named Rebecca. Now, her husband actually had her admitted here for care because Rebecca had refused to eat. She started pulling her hair out because she was obsessed with the fact that she thought her husband no longer found her attractive. So he drops her off here to get some care and Rebecca would just stand in her room in front of the sink, staring into the mirror and pulling out her hair day after day. Now, reports that are coming out of that room now are very similar. People would hear crying, um, weeping, and they actually have reported it even seeing the full-bodied apparition of Rebecca standing in front of her mirror, slowly pulling out her hair. It's said there's also the spirit of a little girl here. Her name is Inez. Unfortunately, she had a rough go at life. She was about 12 years old, and she ended up taking her own life, but she took her own life across the street. So we're not really sure why she would be here at Malvern Manor. There's two gentlemen up on one of the upper floors that are room 17 and 18. Now, they're not really sure what the situation was with these guys. It, it, it appears as though one of the gentlemen had the bed checked down to a science, and he would actually sneak out of his room and go over to the other room and sexually assault this gentleman. Now, Josh has actually said he's seen the reports. There was over 100 reports of this happening in the building. 
Now Josh and some other investigators had gone into the room and started asking very straightforward questions of why this happened, why did you do this? And they were getting EVPs of that never happened, I didn't do it. They even got an EVP that said I loved him. So now they're starting to question of was it more that these guys were in a relationship and that wasn't as widely accepted back then so were the nursing staff writing it off as some sort of assault when in fact it wasn't. These guys actually coexisted for over five years together. In the nursing home edition, there's a very dark entity that's said to reside. It's a very tall shadow figure. It's said to run at people very fast, and it drives people out of this place. Some people leave their overnights when that's their first spot they visited during the night. Um, during the care home days, it said there was a 6-7 patient who was admitted because he was actually a murderer. He was said that he would um, run at nurses when they made their rounds, trying to intimidate them, trying to scare them. So. Could this be the residual haunting of that patient running at nurses, or is it something intelligent trying to do the same thing to scare us away? One spot I'm really interested in getting up to is the attic. They don't know much about this attic space. They don't know what it was used for. It was definitely used for something other than just storage, though. The, the attic has decorative trim. It has molding. It even has heat vents in the floor. So they heated this attic for a reason. They, they did something up there. We're just not sure what yet. Now, reports coming out of the attic are many investigators are getting very, very sick, nauseous, violently ill, having to leave the area. People are hearing growls. They're scratching on the floor. Josh has actually crawled through the crawl spaces, checking for any signs of animals, and there's nothing. But he has found a number of personal items like wallets and drinks and, and keys and all this kind of stuff. They also get a lot of EVPs up there of somebody asking for cigarettes and alcohol. So you'll see when we get up there, there's beer bottles and everything up there. They're trying to appease the spirit. So I'm interested to see kind of what we get in all these different areas with, you know, all these well-known spirits. That's something that's different too. These are documented actual people. These aren't just names that people have come up with throughout investigations. These are actual people that we know were here at one point. So I think that gives us a big advantage tonight. Um, that's not the only spirits that are probably here either. This was such an important um, structure in this town's history. So there could be any number of spirits here. I think we just need to get up there and uh, see who wants to talk to us tonight. Let's do it. All right, guys, tonight we're at Malvern Manor in Malvern, Iowa. I mean, I've seen this place on a ton of TV shows. Destination Fear has been here, Death Walkers, Paranormal Lockdown. I've heard about this place for a while, so I'm excited to see what we get tonight. Yeah, it's, it's a weird location because it's got a lot of different uses over the years. It started out, you know, as a hotel and transitioned to a couple different things after that that kind of took a darker turn in its history. Um, it's massive. It's over 10,000 square feet, multiple floors, a bunch of different hallways, additions. It's a creepy, creepy building. Um, and just like you, you know, I've heard about it for a long time. I've been friends with Josh online for years. It was great to finally meet him. Um, we'll plug his stuff down below in the description. Definitely go check him out. And if you're ever in the area, come out here. Uh, Josh is one of the best dudes in the paranormal, so definitely look his stuff up. Give him, give him a shout. Um, really good guy. So I'm excited to finally be out here and investigate this place and see what we can get tonight inside Malvern Manor. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys. We are starting out in the addition to the building, the nursing home wing here. We're in the shadow figure hallway. So we have hallway. So we have hallway. So we have REM going off down there. And knocks and bangs down here already. Yeah. Um, so we have a REM down here by the shadow figure area where the six foot seven shadow figure comes out of the room and rushes down the hallway 40 feet in a second, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. Are you? Hmm. Um, so that's down there, and then we have Rebecca's room down to our left here, and we have Gracie's room behind us, where that's going off. It's kind of like every time you mention something, a device yeah. went off. Or Good news. Down. Yeah. We also have the K2 on the nurse's station right here. There's a REM pod down there right outside of uh, Rebecca's room. We have the EDI meter, and of course we have the DR60s, which we will break out and uh, use in a little bit here. Now, DR60s, they're both oh, going. Oh. That one just pink. Yeah, that's... Can you step back for us, please? Thank you. They both stopped. Yeah. Um, now, DR60s might not get a ton of reaction down at that end. Um, the patient that we believe is the shadow figure was a nonverbal patient, so he didn't speak. Um, but obviously there could be any number of people here. Um, so... Hmm. So if you're... The patient who's nonverbal, 
Can you touch the top of that device like you've been doing? Yeah, touch the metal rod on it. That's K2. The K2 just went off. Look at look. K2, yeah. And they're metal. Can you light this all the way up to red? This green light on the nurse's station? Just grab a hold of it. He's grabbing a hold of that. That one, yeah. We have the music box too, I forgot we had that set up. They're both going. Can you guys both step away so they both stop? This was... And that noise down here. Yeah. It is dark in here. I'll show you guys quick what it looks like. Excuse me? That's right. Music box oh. too? Who's coming down the hallway? Why is it like skipping like that? I don't know where to look. Like... Um... I don't... Can you step to the side of the hallway? Jesus Christ, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Can you step to the side so this music box stops going off? The thing in the middle of the hallway? Step off to the side of the hall, please. This was going off. I don't know where to look or where to point the camera. Oh, everything's going. Literally everything's going off right now. No, that's too bad. All right. Alrighty then. I said hi. Welcome to Malvern. <laughs> yeah, real, uh, real swell place you got here, Josh. Yeah. Thanks. Nice introduction. Thanks for having us over. Can you step away? Was that a voice? Us over. Can you step away? Was that a voice? That's over. Can you step away? Was that a voice? Yeah, down this way? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a woman's voice. Yeah. Rebecca, is that you? Can you step away from that for a second, please? I'm going to have to turn it off. Is it like tapping on the wall? I don't know what that is, honestly. There's so much going on right now. Yeah. Can you step out of the hallway, please? Can you just step to the side or into one of the rooms so that box stops going off? Is it a voice? Yeah. I'm going to turn this off so we can hear better. Yeah. Good. This hallway kind of is icky. Yeah. It's got a weird feeling to it's it. It's got like an Indiana State vibe to it. Yeah, because there's all the different hallways and different rooms and yeah. different layers of what it used to be too. Like, you know, I mean, there's so many different things coming together in one place. Who wants to talk to us more? Set off the device in the area that you're in. We'll come talk to you. Train. Yeah. Seem like I wonder if that can stir stuff up, right? Like, because right. that's what basically... What? You know what it sounds like? What's that? So, I don't even want to say it. It sounds like somebody moving, adjusting in the, the wheelchair. Like getting comfortable? Because it's that plastic, like... Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. That's literally what it sounds like. That's what I mean. Like, it's like the wheelchair is creaking. Are you sitting down there? Watching us? Maybe getting comfortable? That's what I thought we're down here. <laughs> it's like they just trade spots. Like, that one stops, and it's immediately down here. Can you have them both go off at the same time? K2. K2 is pinging. Can you just walk across the hallway? Can you light that up to red? 
It's orange. Get as close to it as you can. Knock it off the nurse's station if you have to. Both of them again. There's another device down near Rebecca's room. If you touch the top of it, it does the same exact thing. Lights up and makes some noise. It's not going to hurt you. All it does is let us know that you're here. We understand some pretty bad things happen here. We just want to talk to you guys about it. Learn more about you and the building's history. Is that talking? That's what I thought, down here. Yeah, I down almost want to... I almost want to turn that off and just listen. I just want to turn it off and listen. See what we can hear. I guess I'll go get that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. He's excited to see you. Thanks. I'll send him your way. Oh, boy. Ow. Ow. Terrible. Music box. It is dark down here. So down this way is where Gracie's room is. She was the, uh, the patient who had multiple personality disorder. Um, so it would be interesting if you could hear a voice in her room. She had the 13 distinct personalities. I just picked it right up. Oh, you picked it right up? Yeah, so we don't forget it. I just want to listen. Yeah. Because, like, there's so much going on. It is so dark down that hallway. Yeah. Like, literally. Yeah, both sides. K2 is pinging. Literally, this is what it looks like. K2 just hit red. <laughs> Dude, it's so dark. Can you hold it down red for a second? Yep. Hit red? Just a second ago. Can you see down there? Yeah. Oh, am I too close? Sorry, I'll step back. Yeah, we can step back for you. Can you go back up to that again? Touch the top of it? Did you work here? Are we in your, your workstation? Excuse me? Good lord. What? What was that? Hello? Was that a voice? It was like, it sounded like... And the one down here. Yeah, too. it was like, it was like a metal ping and then it was almost like a... You heard that one? Yeah. That echoed down the hallway. That was like a deep voice. And I was just saying to Gracie. Gracie. Multiple personalities. Yep. Oh, I have goosebumps. That's awful. No offense. Oh, yeah. Hello? Knock on something as loud as you can. Close one of these cabinets in front of us. Close a door, open a door. Whatever you're capable of doing. I don't know what that is. It gets, it's like getting closer though. Yeah. Whatever it is. We're just here to talk to you, okay? We want to learn about kind of what it was like to live here. Or whatever you want to tell us about. If you want to tell us a story, we'll listen. I don't know what that is. Is that a woman's voice? Rebecca, can you hear us? Sounds that sounds like a door. Literally a door, like they opened a door. That just sounds like a door either opening or closing. 
Same thing, yeah. That's a door. Literally. Because the only door that was open down, like at the end, was Rebecca's. Yeah. Right? Because like this one's closed. This one I know that the right was open because there's a chair in the door. This one's closed for a bit. That's this door. That's what's made the noise? Come here. Come here. Come listen to this. I can't even see. It's so dark in here. Did you hear the voice? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like it was like a, oh. Mm -hmm. Well, they hear like wailing and crying from Rebecca's room. Yeah. Door though. That's literally this the door. Yeah. Like tapping on the door. Can you do that again? Do you want us to back up if we get too close? I'll give you some space. This place is weird, man. Yeah. Right off the bench. It's such a weird feeling in here. Because again, you don't know. The door just made the noise again. It did. Right, like we walked away. You don't know what era mm -hmm. you're dealing with and what the mindset of the person. That sounds like it's opening. It does. Or like it's trying to open. Like it's pulling on it yeah. and it's stuck on the hinge or something. Hello? We're lost. Can somebody help us? We want to find Rebecca. What do you say we go? Like this one. Yeah. yeah. That's not there again. I was going to say, what do you say we go into Rebecca's room, mm -hmm. do uh, a few EVPs, head over to Gracie's room, do a, a little bit in there, talk to her a little bit, yeah. and then uh, head upstairs. So There's a lot of ground to cover. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so we moved on to Rebecca's room. Um, she was the woman put in here by her husband and she became so upset by basically being abandoned, she began ripping her own hair out. She stopped eating, she stopped drinking. Um, it's said that she looks in this mirror right over here and basically just stared at herself in the mirror trying to figure out why her husband would have abandoned her. Um, again, reports in here are like weeping, crying. Um, and the full, yeah, the full body apparition of seeing her standing there. So we put the K2 right on the edge of the, the sink there um, to see if we can get her to interact with that. Yeah. And we have the EDI here, but I think we're going to do some EVPs in here, some DR60s. Because her story is so sad, like it's such a sad situation. So uh, we can try to, you know, connect with her and talk to her a little bit and, mm -hmm. and see. Right, so yeah, let's do a quiet one first. Yeah, let's do a quiet one. All right, Rebecca, so we have these little gray boxes in our hands, right? If you come up to these and you speak into these, we should be able to hear you. You've probably seen these before. So we're going to give you 15 or 20 seconds to say whatever you want to say. We're not going to ask you any questions. Feel free to tell us what's on your mind. Three, two, one. That, that sounds like a door. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. 
Play it again, hold on. I thought I said it's something like he left me. I thought I heard he left me two or three times. I'll play one more time. That's what I said. He left me. Uh, honestly, I I think it says he left me, and then the second one, I'm gonna play it again. I, from the beginning, I thought that second part, I didn't hear that he left me at the beginning until you said it, mm -hmm. but the second part, the whole time I thought it said he didn't want me anymore. Listen. It's like he didn't want me anymore. Yeah. Play it one more time. Anymore. The more like fades off. Yeah. That's sad. That's so sad. Yikes. I'm sorry that happened to you, Rebecca. All right, let's play yours. Is your volume down? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's play yours with the volume up. That's weird. Super weird. That's sad, though. That is really sad. A lot of sadness in this place overall. Yeah. It was, I mean, it was a sad place. Sad location. I mean, people basically got thrown away here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, people that nobody else wanted to deal with, um, they got put in here, and then for them to get abused and stuff, it's just... Right. I don't know. All right, let's do another one. Let's ask some questions. Yeah. Um, let's see. All right, we're going to ask you some questions now, okay, Rebecca? So we're going to do the same thing, but we're just going to ask you a few questions if you can answer them for us. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Do you stand in front of this mirror all day? How did they treat you here? Can you say your full name for us? Do you have a message for us? Anything we should know? One, two, three. Let's play these back. Yeah. See what we got. Nothing, nothing. Let's see this one down there. Badly? Yeah, badly. How did they treat you here? Badly. Can you say your full name for us?
general methods for them. Everything we should know. Just the one. Yeah, badly. That's sad though, again, like, that's the whole, but they said that, you know, that's the whole vibe in this room is sad and depressing, and yeah. that's what they see when they see her staring and looking in the mirror, she always looks sad and, you know, depressed, which... And just refusing to eat, yeah. refusing that's to drink. That's understandable, I mean... Yeah. I just can't get over all these noises out here. There's so much going on out there. That sounds like... It's a door. door. It's a door across the hall. Sounds like it. But I think what we do, we, we give her a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, she gave us a couple of clear answers there pretty quickly. Um, I think we moved down to Gracie's room. Yeah. Um, she said to have liked when guys come and hang out in her room. We heard a voice down there as well. Right. right. That. that gravelly, deep voice. Yeah. So we'll go down there. We'll, um, I think we continue right into the EVPs down there. Like, let's yeah. focus on that. I think a lot of stuff tonight is going to be EVPs and vocal stuff um, because Josh said that, you know, this location gives some of the best EVPs he's ever seen. He's He's been investigating for a while, so... You know, he knows what he's doing and he catches some really, really clear stuff here. So I think uh, I think we head down to Gracie's room. We mm -hmm. hit her with a few more EVPs, um, you know, bring some of the other equipment in there, see if she wants to interact with that. And then uh, we, we head upstairs and start talking to some other people. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, we just walked down the hall a little bit. We're now in Gracie's room again. Don't forget. Uh, this is the patient that had the multiple personality disorder. So she had up to 13 different personalities that she would go through. Um, one of them being a male with like this gravelly voice that was saying the devil himself was coming to get him. But it's reported that she really liked guys coming into her room and hanging out. So if they sit in their wheelchair, if they sit on her bed, they, they sometimes feel physical touch on their legs, their hips, you know, and other places. Um, so I think we're gonna do some EVPs in here. We got the millimeter set up on the bed, mm -hmm. EDI set up over here, and uh, music box in the hallway, just in case anybody's trying to sneak up on us. Right. And uh, I think we do some EVPs in here and try to talk to Gracie or whoever may be hanging out in here. Right, see who comes through. Right. Let's do it. I think we jump right in. Let's do a silent one again. Yeah, um, four. See what's happening with it. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, let's see. No, I'll put that back. The devil's coming to get me. Listen to that. That's weird. The BDI just went off too. I can't. It's him. It's him. That's yeah. what I heard. It's him. It's him. That one in the middle has like vocal tone. Yeah. Right? It's him. Yeah. That's weird. Huh. That's super weird. Let's listen to yours. Nothing on this one there. Crazy, if that's you, can you step away for a second so that stops? If you step away for me, I'll sit on the bed with you. Can you do that? If this isn't Gracie, can you step away so this stops going off? This is someone else? 
was holding. I uh, just stop. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. Um, all right then. Why don't I? Why don't we try some of the questions? But I'm gonna sit on. Sit on the bed. Yeah, I'm gonna sit on the edge of the bed. It's kind of gross, but. There's a chair. In your yeah, you can sit in that one. Yeah. Or you can sit in a wheelchair. Well. All right, Gracie. I'm gonna sit down on the bed with you. Okay. Is that okay if I sit here with you? Dylan's gonna sit in your wheelchair. We're gonna ask you some questions. All right? Same thing we just did. We're gonna use these recorders, but we're gonna ask you a bunch of different questions this time, okay? So come on in, have a seat next to me, or go sit on Dylan's lap. You can answer our questions. All right, ready? One, two, three. Gracie, do you like that I'm sitting on your bed? What's the name of this place? Can you tell us? Gracie, do you know my name? Do you like what they're doing with this place? The restoration they've done? One, two, three. I'm just gonna turn this off before we play it back so we can hear it. Yeah. Alright. Let's play these back. You ready? Mm -hmm. Those are definitely footsteps upstairs. Yeah. What hundred percent above us? Literally just walking above us. Because that's what we heard over there too. Right. It's just movement above us. Yeah. Let's play these back and then we can get up there and go talk to them. Yeah. Gracie, do you like that I'm sitting on your back? What's the name of this place? What? I don't know what that says. What's the name of this place? Gracie, do you know my name? Nothing after, Nothing after that. that. I don't know what that says. It's it's definitely like two words, but yeah. I cannot tell what that says. No. That was weird. You play yours now. What was that? Wish I could tell you. Uh, like that was a joke, right? Like again. What, what even was that? That was so loud. It almost sounds like it rolled, though. Yeah. Like, but yeah, like something fell and then rolled. I don't even know what that could be. That was like, so loud. That shook, I could feel it. It Literally, like vibrated yeah. the floor. 
Can you stomp your feet if you're above us? You can hear us? That was ridiculous. Yeah. That was so loud. I'm, I'd be interested to see whose room is above us, too. Right, what's directly above us. Yeah. That was so loud. All right, finish playing that back so we can get up there. We gotta go see what that was. Yeah. Yes. Is it like running? Yes. Is it like running? Yes. Did you just hear that? Yeah. There's, it's just running. Someone running down the There's hallway. There's something like running up and down the hallway upstairs. A massive thud. Sounds like something rolls, and now just somebody running back and forth down the hallway. Oh, we have to go up there. Yeah. Running back and forth down the hallway. Oh, we have to go up there. Yeah. Running back and forth down the hallway. Oh, we have to go up there. Yeah, we have point. to go up there right now. All right, let's go up there. Let's see if we can figure out what fell mm. and what rolled and uh, who's running down the hallway. Who's running down the hallway? Yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Guys, really quick before we go upstairs, if you're liking this video, make sure you drop down below. Give us a thumbs up. If we get three thousand likes on this video, we're gonna head to another haunted hotel. All right, guys, so we just got upstairs. We're going to try to find whatever that noise was. You know, we heard the, it sounded like a ball almost rolling. Like it hit the floor and rolled down. Um, and then we heard sound like footsteps running, running yeah. down the hallway. Um, so we're going to try to find out exactly what that was or could have been uh, before we go and talk to Susie up here. So it definitely came from this way over here, right? Because we were down the hall yeah. towards the nursing home wing. So it would have been down this hallway. And we were in. Probably like second one or third of these room. rooms, right? Yeah. Like, so, yeah. I just don't know what it could have been. Watch the ramp. Yep. It's dark up here. A little bit. So this, I don't know. I just don't see anything, right? Like, there's nothing on the ground. No. There's nothing on the ground. And like it would have had to have been like a ball or something. Yeah, it, it, it would have. It would have been heavy too. Yeah. I mean, it would have been noticeable, something substantial. It right. wouldn't have been like a like a, like a like golf a ball size or something or a balloon, right? right? It would have been. I mean, something with some substantial weight behind it. Also, something weird. Um, Walking up here, this was not open when we did the history tour. We haven't been up here since. Right, we closed it because that's how you get up to the attic. Yeah, um, I don't know if Josh has any cameras up here, um, so you just have to take our word for it. We can but, check if he does. Yeah, because the lights on up there too. Right. Which why would did he turn the light on up there earlier? I don't remember. But I just we'll know have that. To ask him. Yeah, I remember I was the last one out and I closed that door. Right. So. I just don't know what could have made that noise. No. Well, I guess we'll go talk to Susie. Let's go talk to Susie now, and then uh, we'll have to come back over this way after anyways. Yeah. One thing, too, that we want to point out when we get to this side is on this wall, I'll turn on the light for you so you can see. On this wall, there's these stains. Okay. And... They're all over the place. They go the whole length of this wall. They're on both sides. Um, so Josh was showing us these earlier. I mean, they're everywhere. And he actually had people come in and perform tests on this. 
And every time they did three separate tests and every time it came back as human blood. And it was the same person. Same person. It's actual human blood still on the walls here. This one's kind of freaky because you can see where it looks like somebody grabbed the wall as they were going. Um, and I mean, it's everywhere. It's on both sides. Yeah. It goes down this whole length. And then when you get down here, you have almost this like splatter pattern going all through here. All of that, all of it is human blood from the same person. So Who he doesn't know how long it's been up here. Yeah. And from what, right? Yeah. Like he doesn't know what it came from, obviously. Um, but again, he had it tested three separate times and every time it came back as human blood from the same person. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's not, I mean, that's not a story, right? Like that's not, there's like living evidence right. that we can observe. Right. That's know? not a story of like, oh, that's a weird stand. I bet you it's blood. Yeah. I mean, he had it tested and it, it is blood. There's no question about it. It's a fact. This is human blood right. from the same person. And there, it's the whole length of the hallway. It looks like somebody grabbed the door frame around the corner with it. And there's blood splatter on this wall here. Yeah. So, who knows? Something to keep in mind. Who knows? So, all right, let's go in here and talk to Susie. Hi, Susie. Watch this step down. Yep. Hi, Susie. How are you? We're going to come in and talk to you for a minute, okay? We have a few toys here. All they do is light up and they make some noise. We'll put them out so you can play with them. You, yeah. can, you can use them. We brought them up here for you. Play a game with you or something if you want. My name is Steve and this is Dylan, okay? We're here to be your friend. All right, so we're going to set up some stuff and uh, we'll see if we can talk to Susie. Susie, yeah, see what we got. And as you guys see, again, like coloring books, crayons over here. A lot of the stuff, too, a lot of the stuff that they found um, when he bought it. It's original. It's yeah. still here, and they, they left it right where it was. Obviously, people have brought new things in to give her for gifts, but there was a lot of coloring books and stuff that was left here from Susie. I mean, they're still in this room, which is really, really cool, actually. That's something he pointed out, too. He said when he got it, he tried to preserve it as much as he yeah. could. All, like, patient um, clothes in some of the rooms that they have, he just left them alone. The only thing that they did get rid of was anything that was, like, sensitive documents about, like, yeah. medical records and stuff like that. Was that um, K2? That K2 just went off. Yeah. But everything else that he found in here... That he could leave he left yeah. so that's really cool all right susie you like that toy you like that green light there that we brought in for you that's pretty cool huh oh goodness i just kicked that balloon i thought my life was gonna end <laughs> look at this one we got this one too ready i'll put it over here if you tap this it makes all kinds of different colors look at that that's pretty cool huh so once that stops, if you go out to it and tap it, it'll light up like that again. And you can use that to talk to us, okay? We can play all kinds of games. So if that's something you want to do, can you go ahead and touch one of these lights that we put on the ground for you? Let us know that you can hear us. Is it true you like the color? Is it true you like the color? Is it true you like the color? We're friends with Josh. Known him for a little bit. I know it's probably weird having new people come in your room. Is it okay that we're in here? Did you just hear that voice? F female? Yes. I can't tell if it was like a laugh or, or like a scream. Or yeah. Or... Yeah. It was like two. It was like. Uh, it uh. echoed. Yeah. Down the hallway. That was a weird noise though. It was loud. 100% loud and echoing down this hallway. Yeah. If there's somebody out in the hall that needs help, make another noise for us. Susie, if you're in here, can you touch one of these devices for us? I'll show you how to do it. There's this metal rod coming out of this one. You just touch the top of it, you get close to it. That's all it does. 
It's not going to hurt you. We can play a game with you. Yeah, see how fast you can go from one thing to the other. I can step away if you'd like. Give you some room. God. 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 You got what? You got more room now that he moved? Do you want us to bring you anything? Yeah, do you need new crayons? Maybe a new coloring book or a new toy? We'd be happy to help. Do you want us to come back later and try to talk to you? Are you doing something right now? Are you coloring? It's weird that K2 went off just one time. Yeah. That was a weird scream or laugh or whatever it was too. It was really loud. Yeah, it, oh, it was super loud. Echo, it echoed down that hallway, literally. The light was coming back from the other way. Mm -hmm. Do you know who ran down the hallway when we were downstairs? I'm curious to see um, what kind of EVPs we get in those the two rooms with the guys. Mm -hmm. um, because he said that's where he gets the absolute clearest EVPs of pretty much anywhere he goes yeah. is in that room. Um, so I think what we do is we go down that way. We bring the DR60 and we bring the regular voice recorder and we're going to plug the headphones into the voice recorder so that I can listen in real time while we're doing the sessions yeah. and see if I can hear anything coming through that. Because that's a method we haven't really used before in right. video. So Yeah, we haven't used that in a long time. Yeah. So if we go down there and do that, and listen real time to the EVPs while we're doing them, mm. um, and have the DR60 running, you'll give them two options. I think that'll be pretty interesting. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go do it. All right, guys, so we just got over here to um, one of the rooms where the gentleman was either sexually assaulting somebody or they were having a relationship that they wanted to keep under wraps. So Josh says that they get some of the clearest EVPs he's ever captured anywhere in this room itself. So we have the DR60 Dylan's going to use, and I have the regular voice recorder right here, um, and I have the headphones plugged in. So I'll be able to hear, hear in real time what it's recording. So if we're picking up any EVPs while we're asking questions, I should be able to hear them while we're actually asking them, which yeah. would be pretty cool. Um, so I think we just get into it. We just focus right on EVPs in here and, and see if we can get some responses, try to figure out maybe what the actual situation was that was going on mm -hmm. between the two guys. Um, and we'll go from there and move on to the next spot. Yeah, let's do it. All right. I'm gonna set this down quick so I can put my headphones on. All right, there we go. I'm putting this on, ready? We're gonna record at the same time. All right, yeah. Well, actually, I'm just gonna record this the whole time. Okay, okay so I'm gonna start recording on this right now. Here we go, I'm gonna set this down. That is bizarre. Very loud. All right, so I think we just jump right in. Um, we can still do like two or three questions and then we'll see. Review, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Ready? You guys recorder, so. Yeah. Three, two, one. Can you tell us your name? Were there assaults that were taking place in this room? Heard that. Who's out in the hallway? Are you guys in a relationship? Three, two, one.
That's very loud. Yeah, what is that? It's very, very loud. Honestly, on here, it sounds like footsteps. Um, definitely out in the hallway. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it's like creaking out of the floorboards too. Yeah. Uh, it's super weird. Um, I'm gonna stop this so we can play that back. Right. It uh, it's weird because like having that on amplifies everything so much. It's just like the Lucid headphones, right? Um, where I mean everything is just amplified, crazy, crazy. So like that, those were very loud, very, very loud. I can't tell if they got closer. Or if oh, they, they did. Right? Yeah, yeah, they did. They definitely got louder and closer as they were as they were going. But I think you should play that DR60 back and see if we got any direct answers on there. Absolutely. There's something there. Yeah. There's definitely a, a very clear voice in there. Mm -hmm. um, I just can't tell what it's saying. No. That's weird. Are you walking down the hallway so you can talk to us? Is there a car going by? A car going yeah. by? Is there, is there a car going by? What'd you hear? No, I didn't hear anything. I just saw, I just saw a ton of movement. So you see how you can see this light on the wall? Yeah. I literally, it looked like somebody just was like, like that, like just walked right by it. Like I could see the movement of a person go right by it. And I didn't know if a car happened to be going by and casting a weird shadow or something. Right, and just like blocked out the street lights or something? Yeah, or like weird, like a weird shadow from like the trees or something, but it looked like a person. It was head and shoulders. And I, it, they just, it was like, they just went like this. You could just see it go across the, right across this light on that wall. That was weird. This place has been really weird so far. A lot of like auditory stuff. It's not just equipment going off. It's yeah. not just EVPs. You know, hearing the footsteps. Yeah, hearing that loud thud and something, whatever it was, rolling. I mm. mean, the voices we were hearing out loud. The yeah. disembodied voice. That yell. I mean, sitting in the break room, we were hearing stuff. Hearing stuff down there. So I don't know. let's go back in there. Yeah. Let's do another session. That was weird though. That was very clearly a shadow. Very very clearly a shadow. All right, let's switch. You switch. Put, you put these on. Yeah. And I'll do the DR60. All right, trade you. And uh, we'll go from there. So you, it's All weird. Right. I'll hit record for you when you get it on. Yeah, I'm just gonna set these down. Yeah, quick. it's a it's a super weird sensation because like it is like the lucid headphones, but yeah. those it, are almost like disorienting. You know? Yeah, this is cool. I mean, it, you can hear those footsteps were so loud on there, like super super loud. So Let's see get in there. And well, why don't you pick your camera up? I'll start recording for you. All right. Okay, ready. So I'm gonna start recording on this for him. Yep. Loud? Yeah, you're good. Oh, that is weird. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go over here for a second. I'm gonna go by this doorway. All right. Two questions again. Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three. Did I just see you across the hall? Can you say one of our names? Footsteps. Mm -hmm. Whoever's in this room, were you assaulted by the guy that was in the room across the hall from you? Can you yell something really loud? One, two, three. All right, I'll do that. I'll end this one so you don't get it blasted when we play the DR60 back. Okay. All right, figure it out here. Can't see. Okay. Thank you. 
Do you hear that? Mm, down the hallway again. Can you make that noise for us again? That was farther away, but that was closer a little bit. It came back. Can you knock for us really loud? Yeah, that was pretty loud. Mm -hmm. Again. Oh my god, what was that? What was that? I don't know. Let's go over by, Let's go over by the door. Just by the hallway? Just so we can hear better. We still gotta play this back. Here in the hallway, make a noise for me. Frozen or something? No. Frozen or something? No. Frozen or something? No. Oh, that's too bad. No, that was like down here. That's loud though. Can you knock on a door? Let's keep playing this back. We need to finish playing this back here. Yeah. Let's start it over. Yeah. What? I didn't. It sounds like it goes, I didn't, and it goes, I didn't. Yeah, it's like, I didn't something, yeah. It's like, there's definitely something there. It's almost like it's answering after every question, but it's not close. It's like no. it's almost distant to us. So maybe it's not in this room, whoever it is. Could they're not across in the here. hall. Right, they might be over there. Yeah. But whatever it is, it sounds like it's down the hall. Yeah. Like it's slowly maybe, getting closer. Yeah, footsteps and knocks and bangs. Yeah. I mean. Like that and that. That was closer. That was way closer. It was two noises, yeah. one after another. Can you do that one more time for us? Make that noise? It's, it's like it's it's either right down the hall. There's like two or three. Yeah. So like something's just moving around up here, which is what we heard downstairs. Though we heard that like ball or whatever fall, or whatever. I still don't know what the hell it was, yeah, but no whatever it was that fell made that loud thud and then rolled, and then we heard those like little footsteps running back and forth, running down the hallway. Yeah. Yeah, can you do that again? If that was you, can you run down the hallway for us? Why are you the way that you are? Would be pretty cool. You would cry. I would. If something just ran by this door. I would close the door and jump out the window. Mm hmm Me too. <laughs> oh. It's getting louder. They're coming. You did this. Sorry about it. Not really. Can you knock on the door that you're closest to? Make a noise. Which direction you want us to go? A loud one. I know I got weird. 
yeah. quiet in here. I think I want to do one session mm -hmm. in that room. Let's do one. Because maybe they are in that room. Right, you know? one DR60 session in that room, and then we can move on and go talk to Inez or, you know, any one of the other people that are very well known here. Yeah. So, all right, let's go over there really quick. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. What was your relationship with the person in the room across the hall? Do you like when people come in to talk to you? Is there anything you want to tell us about your time here or just a message you want to get across? Were the nurses kind to you here? One, two, three. That was very loud. What was that? It sounded like it was down, like completely down yeah, the hall. That down way. the hall by the past the stairs almost. Yeah. All right, let's play this back quick. Honestly, I thought I said, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Listen. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. That's weird. I mean, that's good. Most of those EVPs had like vocal tones yeah. too. Like we couldn't really make them out, but there it was like a full sentence. That's weird. I'm yeah. very happy. I mean, that's, again, that's great because you don't get a lot of those kind of stories at a places like this. But right. you got to think too, like what Josh was saying, right? So if maybe, maybe this wasn't like a sexual assault thing. Maybe they were in some sort of relationship that they didn't want to get out. I mean, he said they lived across the hall from each other for five years. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a long time. And if, you know, you have that to look forward to every day, right. seeing your favorite person right. across the hall. For five years straight, especially right. in a place like this where there's probably not a lot of happiness, right? Yeah. So, finally, I mean, like the silver lining in yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. Thank you for telling us that. Thank you for talking to us. We appreciate your time. I'm sure it's raining, talking to us. We're going to go down the hall and talk to a couple other people now, okay? You're more than welcome to join us if you want to keep going. But we're going to... Head on down and see who else we can talk to. Okay? Yep. Let's do it. All right, guys, if you're enjoying this investigation tonight so far and all the activity we've been having in all the different rooms, don't forget, drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of these upcoming investigations we have. We're going to some really crazy locations that you're going to love. So don't forget again, drop down, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's get back to it. We're literally just getting here trying to set up. As always, where are we? We're in Inez's room. So again, this is a little girl who had a, uh, a rough life. Um, she actually ended up taking her own life across the street. But um, we're going to try to figure out what she's doing here, I guess. We're going to see if she wants to interact with us. Um, walking in the room, setting up. Again, this was just going off the mail. Um, we have a few devices set up. We have flashlight on this table here with a cat ball. So if she touch, um, touches the top of either of them, they should light up. We have a K2 over there on that nightstand and another flashlight over there. Yeah. And then so, there's the, obviously the mail meter right there. And we have the DR60s. Correct. So we're going to... See what we can get in here. We're going to have her try to use some of this equipment just like that. And then uh, we can jump in and do some BBPs if we want to and see if we can get some answers and maybe why she hangs out here. Right. What draws her to this place. Right. Can you stop wait? Oh, okay. Inez, if, if this is you, can you set off that device again or touch one of the other devices we have in the room? That'll light up just like that. Can you do that for us? That'll work. Just like that. Oh, oh. I was pinging. 
Can you step back for a second so it stops going off? Yeah, that's how it works. All you gotta do is step back a little bit and just like that. Thank Very you. good. Thank you. You're doing great. So just to confirm, is this Inez Gibson? Can you set off one of our devices if that's your name? Whichever one you want to use. There's there's stuff everywhere in here. You're not in any trouble. We just want to talk to you a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Can you step back so it stops? It's just how we can communicate with you. All you got to do is just step back when we ask you to. There you go. Thank you. So, once I said you're not in trouble, right. I went off that. Like I can't, you know. Yeah. So we have some other stuff in the room that works very similar to that, okay? All you got to do is touch it. There's a couple things on this table. This right here is a flashlight. Twist the end of it, the light comes on. There's a little toy on the top of uh, your doll over there. It's a cat ball. If you tap the top of that, light turns on. A bunch of different colors for that one. If you come over here by this green light, this will light out different colors too. It can go to orange, yellow. You seem to like that one. If you like this one because it makes noise, can you step back? That was weird. What's that? That was super weird. What? I thought I just backed into... That like dresser right there? No, 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 no. I thought, like I thought there was something, cause I I was like right here. Yeah. And I turned, and when I turned, it felt like um, like the top part of my sh my shoulder, like up here, mm. like brushed against something. Like li like the like there was something, I, like I looked to see if this was maybe out farther. Right. Cause it, I mean I was out here. I wasn't even really near it. Yeah. And I literally went like this to turn my camera towards you right and it was like across my whole back like I just like grazed against something the whole way I did it Inez if that was you that he just touched or you touched oh um, yeah okay it literally it felt like I was like it was literally like I brushed against somebody that like, was like standing there you gotta think she's 12 too yeah so she'd probably be about that height right dude that was weird just to confirm if you touched Steve if you were standing there and he bumped into you can you set off one of our devices if you want to use this one on the table, that's fine. Again, you're not going to be in trouble. It's okay. I'm not upset with you. I'm sorry if I bumped into you. Was that you that I felt? Just let us know. Yep. Yeah. Pinged. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know. I'm sorry I bumped into you. I didn't mean to. Can you step back for a second so I can ask you a couple questions? Thank you. Instant. Yeah. Were you coming over here to take uh, one of these toys? Were you going to pick up one of these toys? These are pretty cool. Do you have a favorite? It's probably hard to pick favorites, right? There's so many. Hey, you have a lot of toys, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. A lot of people come to see you and talk to you. Can you step back for us again? Thank you. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's on command. Yeah. Are you happy that people come to talk to you? We came all the way from New York. It's pretty far away. We've heard a lot about you. It's nice to meet you. I mean, that thing is going off on command, yes and no, when we ask it to. Right. Stepping away, off, I mean, on command every single time. That's crazy. It's like a weird lower yeah. pitch. That's kind of strange. We didn't forget about you. You're just looking at your stuff? Do you mind if we uh, ask you some questions using a different piece of equipment that'll get your voice? If you want to talk to us using the, the device that'll record your voice, go ahead and set that off when I get to three, okay? And we'll take it out. One, two, three. Go ahead and set that off and we'll use this device right here, okay? We can ask you some questions. 
K2. K2 went off? K2 went off. And then that went off. It wasn't, really on. It wasn't on three, but... Mm -mm. All right, so just to confirm, if you want us to use the voice recorders, can you set off that green light in the corner next to your mirror? All you have to do is get close to it. Oh, flashlight. flashlight's on. It's like she's trying all the different stuff out. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, they brought me new toys. Like, what does this one do? Right. Yeah. She did that for a little bit. That was cool. Went down there, touched the green light. And now she's like, oh, cool. What's this one do? Can you twist the end of this blue flashlight so it turns off? She's got to twist it the other way. Yep. Exactly like that. Very good. Perfect. That's freaking bonkers, That's actually. That's cool. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you so much. You're doing really good. Do you like these? Do you like all the stuff we brought you to play with? It's pretty cool, huh? Here, why don't I move, I'll move one down for you. A little high might be hard to get. Hey, look at this one. Look at that, lights up all different colors. Just going back over to that one now. Yeah. I'm gonna put this one right here, okay? There you go. All you gotta do is go up to it and tap the top of it and that light will go off again. Just like what you did with this one and that one over there on the dresser. All you gotta do is go right up to this. You just tap the top of it and it lights up all those different colors. Red, blue. It's just another toy we brought for you to play with, okay? If you wanna throw that ball too, you wanna throw it, you wanna kick it, do whatever you wanna do. Yeah, the, again, we brought these for you, so you're allowed to use them all, okay? So you've done this one over here. You've done that one on the dresser. You've done the green light over there by your mirror. You like the What's dresser that one? one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How fast can you step away from that one? And then tap this one on the ground right here. All you got to do is come up to it and tap it. Okay, how fast can you get over here? Here, ready? You can roll it to me if you want. This one right here in front of me. You see that? Flashlight. Flashlight's on. Oh, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Real quick. Do you want him to step back? Yeah, am I in your way? See how far you can kick it. I really want to talk to you with the recorders, I want to ask you some questions. If we can try that for a minute now, do you think you can set off one of these devices again? Any of them, whichever one you want. Set it off to let me know that... There you go. It's your favorite one, for sure. Okay, thank you. Can you step away? You're doing very good. Step back for a second, okay, so we can ask you some questions. So, when thank we, you. when we use the uh, recorders, um, please don't set this one off. It's going to be loud, okay? So step away from that for a second. Come over here and talk right into these. We're just going to ask you a couple questions, and then we'll let you go back to using that, okay? You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Do you like when people bring you toys to play with? Just to confirm who you are, can you say your full name for us? Your first and last name? We heard you had a brother. Can you tell us his name? And one, two, three. Yeah. And the flashlight goes off. Yeah, the flashlight goes off. But again, she's the flashlight back on. She's used every single thing in here except for that cat ball so far. Can you step back for that for a second? So we can play this on us? You step back and we can listen to your voice now, okay? Thank you. All right. Yep. Do you like when people bring you to the phone? Yes, I do. Wait a minute, hold on. What did I say? Do you like when people bring you to the phone? Yes, I love it. Do you hear that? I heard it. Yes, yes, I love it. Yes, love I love it.
Yes, I love it though. But that makes sense, right? Because yeah. like she's a kid and she's been playing with every single thing we brought in. Going around the room trying them all out. Everything, every single thing she's touched in this room except for the cat ball, which is fine. You're doing great. But it's exactly what you would think, right? Like a yeah. kid's like, oh, what's this one do? That's cool. What's Literally. this one do? Oh, this one's fun. But it's not like it's just randomly going on. It's right. like on command. All right. Now, Inez, just to confirm again that it's you. You're doing really good. Okay, so on the count of three, step back from that so it stops. One... Two, three, step away so it stops making that noise, please. Okay? That's pretty, pretty good. good. That was pretty close. I'm gonna play this one back now, okay? See if we caught your voice. Do you like when people bring me toys to play with? Yes. What? That's crazy. What does that say? Is it the same thing? I don't it know. Sounds like it. It's just clear on yours. Yeah. Yes, I love it. It's actually like was closer to you. Right. Does that say Ines Gibson? Super quick, really quick, and then that goes off. Yeah. Literally, and then that goes off. Hold on. Wait for that to stop, because you got, that's, dude, that's literally something like this. I just get some, yeah. That's crazy. Can you step back for a second? Thank you. Said, you. Is that what it says? And, and it goes, goes off. off. Yeah. Literally, it's just like, yeah, that's my name. I said it. That's crazy. Listen to that. That's, I just get some, 100%. That's, that's so crazy. That's really though. cool, though. Inez Gibson, dude. Like that's that's intelligent. Yeah. That shows intelligence again. She's she can hear us. She's answering us. Is that what it said? Then yep. goes right off. Yep. That was cool. You you did great. We appreciate you talking to us. Thank you very much. We're gonna go talk to somebody else for a little bit, okay? But you can play with all these other toys, all these dolls and everything that are in here. These are all for you if you didn't know that, okay? People brought them here for you. Man, that, that's so weird. That EVP is so, that's so clear. Like, that is a direct, intelligent response mm -hmm. saying a, a documented person's name. Yeah. That's a name that we know of was a real person. Newspaper articles, right. like, confirming it. Yep. Man. It's got chills. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Inus. We're going to move on now, okay? All right. Let's, uh, let's, head let's go up to the attic and see what we can figure out about what that was used for and why they're getting growling and, and people getting sick and stuff. Like, it, this doesn't make sense. So I think we go up there, we do an Estes, mm -hmm. we ask some questions, and we see if we can figure out kind of what's going on up there. Yeah, let's get up there. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we're up in the attic now. It is raining a little bit, so you'll probably hear that, but we're gonna do an Estes session. We're gonna try to figure out maybe what this room is used for, why things are growling at people. Um, people are getting very, very sick up here while they're investigating, and who keeps asking for all the cigarettes and beer? That's what we're gonna try to figure out, because um, they don't really know anything about this space. They know it was used for something. I mean, again, there's, there's floor vents for heat, there's trim on the walls, there's baseboards. It wasn't just used for storage, so uh, we'll see if we can kind of get some answers and figure out what was going on up here. So I'm going to go under, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. We also have the ovulus set up here. Okay. So I'm going to get this started. Called you a geek. A geek? Holy geek. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Yeah. Turn this on. Where's that? Duty. Duty had. All right, and see you later. See you later. All right, so again, for those who don't know, you just plugged headphones into a spirit box. So he's hearing radio static, um, 
whatever he hears, he hears a voice come through, he's going to repeat whatever he hears, and we're going to try to have a conversation that way. Kids? Kids. Other kids up here? Or do they have kids up here? Children. Children again. Kids and children. The first time when it said kids, it sounded like a, like a female voice. That one was a, a male voice. Is this where they kept children? Whatever you say to this guy sitting in the chair with the headphones on, he's going to repeat. I know it sounds weird, but I can't hear you and I can't see you. So this is one of the easiest ways for us to communicate with you. Won't know. Won't know. Maybe it's like a secret what they did up here. Is that why there's no documentation? That's kept a secret. It's got to think all the stuff in the ground too. That's probably contraband. Well, there is. Stay. Stay. Uh, stay the. Um, you got to think it's contraband though. I see you. I was, it was like it was like I see you. Well, that's awful. Bing pole tool. Who are you? My name's Dylan. Do run. Why do you want us to run? There was something on the stairs. You are. Shaken. Mostly idle. I mean, yeah, I'm standing still. <laughs> Is that like I said, pain in the ass? <laughs> touch? Are you going to touch? It sounded like, a, like an, an older guy. It was weird. Touch? Lady... Obvious is going nuts. Car outside. Touch Lady Malevolent. You got pretty quiet. Dang it. Dang it. Go over. Alice? Who's Alice? Is that your name? I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Hi, Alice. Not sure how long you've been here. My name's Dylan, though. We came all the way from New York just to talk to you for a little bit. We're just trying to figure out what this room was used for. It's like a female just said, go away. She was like, go away. Why do you want me to leave? We just want to know what they did up here. Heat, sneak, maybe. It's like, it has a weird, it went from like a religious theme, now it's like a secretive theme, I guess, like sneak, maybe, quest. Hidden. Hidden. It, like, it's the same thing. They're, these are bouncing Hidden. off of each other. What Steve is saying is lining up with what the ovulus is saying. So was this attic hidden from the fire. rest? Fire. There, there was a fire up here. Oh. All right, you're... Hurry. Oh, my God, that's crazy. I don't know if you can tell with the night shop, but there's a fire up here. That's crazy, actually. Do you want me to call for help? It's bad. Are there people up here? Do I need to call for help? We don't have too much longer to stay up here and talk to you. Leave. Leave. Go on. Go. It's like there's one person who just... That was all different voices. Oh, never mind, I was going to say, it's like there's one person who doesn't want us up here. But apparently it's multiple, so that's cool. Why do you want me to leave? Is no one supposed to know what this was used for? Angry. Water? I said angry. Again, the ovulus is feeding off of the Estes. They're like, 
they're lining up with each other, you know? Are you going to get angry if we stay up here? That was on the staircase. That was really loud. Like, you can hear the rain, but I don't know what that was right there. It was like a female voice, but I couldn't make out what it said. It was, it was very faint. I'm going to ask. That was a guy that said, I help or I helped. I'm going to ask one last time. Can you tell us what you did up here? What this space was used for? We see all the furnishings, the trim, the chimney. What did you guys do up here? Okay, I'm gonna take him out. And we're gonna leave, okay? Thank you. Done. Done. Whoa. Hi. Literally, it literally just said you're next. You're as next? I as I was about ready to take it off. Well, because you mentioned fire, first of all, which is nuts yeah. because there was a fire. Remember the fire thing, yep. Yeah. Um, That's cold, damn. It was like two different people, but whatever you said would line up with what the ovulus was saying. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Wow. That was weird. The, the voices that were coming through were super bizarre. It was like you'd get a female, then you'd get a guy, and then the one guy sounded old, then one sounded like a kid, then it was like female, 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 then it was like a guy, female, guy. It was like... Well, at the ovulus said Alice at one point. I said, is your name Alice? And you said, mm-hmm. So that was pretty... It was I like if there's an Alice that he has, like... Any, you know what I mean? Like that... That documentation he talked about or anything. Yeah. We'll have to ask him tomorrow. Yeah, that was pretty weird though. Yeah, but weird. No answers. No definitive answers. They always skirt around the question whenever I ask what they did up here. Or if there's so, rules. Yeah. Or if they're still thinking they'll get in trouble for whatever they did up here. If right. they weren't supposed to be up here, if they weren't supposed to be doing what they were doing or whatever. Right. That's what I figured too. Try to avoid the question because they don't know us, right? Right. They're like, oh, they're he's friends with Josh. He's what if they what if they know him as the owner of the boss right now right? right like well he'll report back to him and we'll get in trouble so i'm thinking what if there's a patient who is unruly yeah they take him up here Put just up here. yeah yeah so or just leave him up here or, right as some sort yeah. of punishment that's but crazy it was know. pretty weird what do you say we go down and uh call it a night let's do it all right guys that's another night survived in a haunted location we slept inside malvern manor last night and you know honestly coming to this place has been really really cool because it's somewhere i've wanted to come for a long time like i said i've known josh on facebook for years finally got the chance to meet him and his spot did not disappoint at all absolutely i mean we had stuff going on the intelligent interaction in inez's room was nuts um we heard footsteps and running around all night we heard it sounded like the ball drop yeah it sounded like, a, across the like a bowling ball or something literally I yeah mean, um so it's not like you know, sometimes you can try to debunk equipment, but it was audible noises that we were hearing. Yeah, and so. we went upstairs and looked for anything that could have made that noise. Yeah. And there's nothing. There was nothing on the ground. There was nothing in any of the rooms that looked like it could have made that noise. Um, nothing was falling over. I mean, it was mm. super bizarre. The the activity right in the hallway when we first started down in Shadow Hallway with the bangs and the knocks and the sounds like the door moving and then the footsteps and all the equipment going off then. I mean, some of the EVPs we got too, uh, you know, like Inez, Inez Gibson, Rebecca's room, like, they were class A EVPs, like very clear, intelligent responses, which was absolutely unreal. Definitely a spot we're going to have to come back to and, and do some more investigating because we barely hit any of it, I feel like. It's so big, you know, 10,000 square feet, and we're focusing on these rooms, and, and there's a lot of space that we didn't even check out yet. So maybe we should come back to like a live stream or something? Yeah. We could come um, back and do a live investigation. That would so. be fun. But definitely check out Malvern Manor, guys, if you haven't already. Again, we're going to link everything down here in the description, link all of Josh's stuff as well. Go check him out. He's got a channel. Um, he's got a podcast with Nick Groff and Johnny Hauser from the Axe Murder House and uh, Chad Lindbergh. So we'll link all that kind of stuff down below. So definitely go check his stuff out. It's super, super cool. And uh, I think we got ourselves a little bit of a drive today, and uh, we're on to the next spot. On to the next one. Let's go do it.